What's going on, guys? This is Uche Njoku, Sneaker Principal. And I want to come to you really quick with a very short video on something that happened last night and has been having to do with the um, the double audio. So, um, and I'm not sure what the technical term it is. Uh, I guess you could call it echo. But what happened last night, I was on a, on a, a brief interview with um, for my podcast. And the gentleman I was speaking to was complaining that he could hear himself. Um, um, he could hear echo. So he, he was hearing himself twice on his end through his headphones. But on my end, I heard everything quite clearly. I was like, it sounds great to me. And it happened to me once before. And that when it happened to me the previous time, what I had to do was I had to, uh, what I did was I, um, I searched and searched and searched. And I realized if I went into my um, Rodecaster Pro, and that's what I'm using. I'm using the Rodecaster Pro. And uh, I went into the, the settings and I mean, you can't really see this well on this camera right here, um, but I went into advanced settings and I went into audio and then I went into processing. And what happened was on the top one here, it's my USB mix minus was turned off. So um, once I hit, hit that button, it stopped happening. It was fine. So that, that was the solution for that. And what was interesting was we were using the, um, the interview future, fu Feature, so I thought that that wasn't supposed to happen, but none of, nonetheless, I went there, did that, perfectly fine. I actually made a video about that. So um, I'm gonna go back to my main screen. So, but this time I went to do that, and it didn't work. It literally didn't work, and I I, I was like, what's going on here? And what happened was on my screen, I'm gonna go ahead and do a um, live demo mode on Ecamm Live, so you can see what I'm talking about. So what happened um, was that in live demo mode, um, right here, the the um. The sound levels, the top level here, that's the Rodecaster um, Pro multi-channel. Like you can see my voice here as I speak. So the interview mode, um, I mean, actually, let me turn interview so you can see. What happens when you turn interview, um, you get additional an additional um, sound level, um, level display. So he would speak and you could see his, but when I was quiet, you could see his down here interview move while he speak, while he speaks and up here as well. So the Rodecaster multi-channel level was activated while he spoke uh, as well as his interview which should happen because that's how i know this audio coming in at least visually and i was like why is it doing that so i went into i went into um my computer settings i thought maybe there's something i the, the sound settings were not properly um i'm set so i went in here and i i went to my output my output was set for for the um right uh it was set for actually this should be set for Okay, it was, it was set for Rodecaster um, Pro. Then I went into my input, and uh, in my input, it was set for Rodecaster multi-channel. So I said, no, okay, you know what? Let me change it to Rodecaster Pro stereo. So I changed the stereo, and it didn't work. It was still doing the exact same thing. The levels, while he spoke on remotely wherever he was at, was activating the multi -channel, my uh, Rodecaster Pro multi-channel, the top line, and interview. And I, I just couldn't figure it out. So I went, I went into, into uh, preferences. I played with that and nothing was changing. So um, it wasn't until I realized, wait a minute, I have multi-channel on, on here, which means that right now the Ecamm is, is using all the channels on my um, Rodecaster Pro right on to here. So if I speak, it pops up there. If there's any other channels that are activated, it will pop up on this line too. So what I did is I went literally went in here and changed it to Rodecaster Pro Stereo. And all of a sudden, it stopped. When he spoke, you only heard his line from the interview, and it didn't activate the Rodecaster Pro on top here. And that, and, and that happened. Unfortunately, he's not here for me to use him as an example, but it worked immediately. So if you're having those double, those double um, audio um, effects like the echo, whatever the case is, definitely make sure that your mix minus is turned on. And if it's turned on, it's still happening. Um, definitely go into your settings for your computer and make sure the settings are, are appropriate. But finally, or maybe even first of all, switch if you have multi if you have multi channel on your uh, multi channel recording on your Rodecaster Pro appearing on here, switch it to stereo. And uh, one last thing, why would why would you want multi channel? One thing I discovered was I teach a um, a, a class and I, I teach a film class and I show film clips in my for my for my students, and I realized if I just had stereo 
often the audio coming out from from the videos on my computer wouldn't be audible to my students. You know, they just couldn't hear it. Um, I would see it activated on my screen, but they just wouldn't. They just couldn't hear it. And I realized once I, once I put multi-channel, what happens now? It allows for all the lines of audio from my USB or whatever it is I'm plugged into on my um on my ro- on my roadcaster. It allowed me to uh, for that to go. So like I'm talking about like the USB line, or if I have the cell phone, or if I'm using um, Bluetooth, um, it allowed for that audio to actually play. So um, I don't know. I don't know if that's helpful to anyone. I just felt like I just wanted to throw a quick solution on out there because often I try to find things like this, and I see a lot of reviews and how wonderful things are, but I don't really see as much troubleshooting um, unless they pop up in a live stream with somebody's in somebody's live stream. So so hopefully this was helpful to um, those watching. And uh, thank you so much. Again, this is the Sneaker Principal. And um, have an amazing, an amazing Wednesday. All right, talk to y'all later.